Hello, Pop-Tarts, it's Weird News Wednesday. I know you're very excited. And enough of that because, oh, I also uploaded The Sims Day if you want to check that out. But we just need to get right to the weird news. There's nothing left to say here. A girl in Michigan was awarded $40,000 in a settlement with her university <laughs> because she wasn't allowed to take her guinea pig to class for emotional support. Bitch, I'll give you some emotional support in the form of a fist. What? What? Oh my God. How do you just give someone, oh, you know, you, oh, you weren't allowed to take your guinea pig to class? I'm so fucking sorry. Why don't you have $40,000? All right, here's the, here's the story. So the girl suffered from depression and uh, they allowed her to have a pet in a pet-free dorm. So that's cool. I understand that. That's, that's fine. But at the same time, dude, when I went to university, I couldn't have a fucking air conditioning. Do you know how much it sucked not to have an air conditioning in humid, hot Chicago? I mean, when it was cold, it was fine, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just jealous, okay? I'm just jealous. <laughs> Oh, man. But uh, I guess she got really distressed over the fact that she uh, got in trouble for bringing her guinea pig to class because she was only allowed to have it in her dorm. So she ended up bringing the guinea pig to class and got like banned from class or something or another. Uh, not banned from school by any means. Uh, but they they just she she started a lawsuit with the university and then they're just like I oh, will give you 40k cool so she lucked out I mean I hope I hope it makes her a little bit happier you know depression's a serious thing and I, I hope that 40k helps a little bit at least in another court case this one without a settlement a man with a, he has a prosthetic eye now because he lost his eye in a fight. And so in the trial, he was testifying about how horrible it was losing his eye and blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, it sucks. My eye's gone. I can never see out of it again. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever he said. While he was testifying, his prosthetic eye <laughs> fell out while he started crying. That's just bad luck. I, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny, but it's so funny at the same time because I don't know him personally. So I... I laugh. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person, but I bet I bet at least some of you laughed. I know at least some of you laughed, you assholes. In Tennessee, a Girl Scout troop has found a surprising hot spot for selling Girl Scout cookies. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever had Girl Scout cookies, like Thin Mints, um, the caramel. What are the caramel ones called? Those ones are my favorite. Car Why can't I think of it? You guys need to remind me in the comment section below. The, the It's like a purple box. I'm pretty sure it's a purple box. Anyways, forget that. But they found a hot spot for selling Girl Scout cookies, and it's like this, the dump, the, the garbage dump. They uh, are having a lot of luck at the garbage dump selling tons of cookies. Because I know when I go to the garbage dump, I'm like, fuck yeah, Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> whatever okay cool people like buying girl scout cookies while they leave a dump whatevs in australia a man was fired from his job after a while on um, a sick leave from work so basically his sick leave was because he was very stressed so he was allowed to take leave from his job and in his absence he was at the beach with his family and which to me is like, you go to the beach if you want a stress-free day, it's fun, it's relaxing. All right, so you get that. While at the beach, he saved a bunch of children from a shark attack. He wrestled a shark, the video was online, it went viral, and his bosses saw the video and they fired him because he was supposed to be on sick leave for stress. See, <laughs> what do you, this, I wanna have a debate about this because I want that guy on my team, man. I want the guy who's gonna wrestle a shark and save all the motherfucking children. I want that guy on my team. I want him working for me. Why would you fire him, all right? He's at the beach. His sick leave is for stress. Dude, it makes sense. It makes a hell of a lot of sense. I mean, I, if it would have been like, oh, I'm on sick leave for a broken back, then yeah, maybe that's he's wrestling sharks. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you doing? You have a broken back, you liar. But it's not. It was for stress, and he's at the beach. So I want to know, what do you guys think? Do you think it was correct or a good idea for his bosses to fire him uh, for 
saving all the children of Australia, basically. Basically, basically, dude's a superhero. See? I mean, oh my gosh. So in the comment section below, just let me know your thought process behind whether you think he should have been fired or not fired from his job. Uh, but I know all of you guys are gonna be like, I want that guy on my team. He can wrestle all my sharks. I got 99 problems, but this man's gonna take care of him. Somewhere in Africa, an eight-year-old boy was told by his ancestors, uh, a ghost of his ancestor, so he he said a ghost told him that he should marry uh, a 61-year-old woman who was part of the village, and so they got married. So his, his ancestors were basically like, y'all get that guilt pussy. Uh, but I guess when he grows up and is an adult, he's gonna marry a woman his, old, his own age. So I don't know what happens to the old woman, if they just wait for her to die or if they, I don't know you guys, or if he just like get ri you know, gets rid of her, or maybe she, maybe they have polygamy and he can marry a new bitch too. I don't know how it works. I'm not familiar with the culture. So. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, go, go marry a 61-year-old. Jesus.